Learners, it's Teacher Jardine once again. And I would like to first thank everyone na nanood at natuto sa previous math video ko. And um, again, continue to share, uh, let us spread and promote lifelong learning. Anyway, here's the correct answer sa activity given last time. And I hope you got the, the correct answers. So for the angle A, it's 28 degrees. For the measure of the opposite side, 30.09, and the hypotenuse is 34.08 units. Alright, so last time, we discussed how to solve right triangles given the measure of one side and one acute angle. This time, we are still going to solve for right triangles, pero given two sides. Okay, so let us start. So suppose you are given right triangle ABC with right angle at C, and the angle theta is set at angle A, and I say that the measure of this side is 12, and this side is 8. So when you say solving right triangles, we have to find out all the measure of the sides and all the measure of the angles. Now, so we have here the measure, we have to find out the measure of this side, which happens to be the hypotenuse. Okay, it is opposite the right angle, therefore this is the hypotenuse. Now, since the angle theta is angle A, so this would be the opposite side. And again, adjacent to the angle theta is the adjacent side. Adjacent side. Again, part of the handwriting. I'll do better next time. And since we are looking for the hypotenuse given the two legs, we make use the Pythagorean theorem. Again, the Pythagorean theorem is just the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the square of the legs. Now, since we are looking for the hypotenuse, that is the C, we have to square each leg. So, it could be um, 8 squared plus 12 squared. Again, it's okay kung magkakapalit ang 8 at 12 because we have this commutative property of addition where in the order of the addends does not affect the result. So C squared is equal now to the square of, 60, of 8, which is 64, and the square of 12, which is 144. Then add them. So the sum would be 64 plus 144 is 208. This is not yet the answer. We have to extract both sides of the equation for us to get the measure of C, which is the hypotenuse. So that C equals the square root of 208 using your calculators would be 208. In calculators like this, you are going to get 4 square root of 13, actually. 4 square root of 13. But in decimal, that is equal to 14.42. So these two could be the answer. Alright, since we already found out the measure of the hypotenuse, we are done with the sides or with the legs. Now we are going to find out the measure of the other two angles. So first, we have to find the measure of angle A, since the angle theta is set at angle A. So for us to know the measure of angle A, we may use either of the three. So how are we going to choose? First, you have to remember which of the sides is given or are given at first. So those are the opposite side and the adjacent side. They were already given, so 8 at 12. So opposite and adjacent, O and A. Saan ba sa tatlo na to present ang O at A? So basically, here. So we are going to use TOA. And what does TOA stand for? TOA means tangent theta equals opposite over the adjacent. Okay? So... Let's just rewrite tangent theta. That's what we are looking for. The measure of angle A is equal to the opposite. What is the value or the measure of the opposite side? That's 8. And the measure of the adjacent side, 12. Now, if you are looking for the angle, not like the previous 
ang um, topic natin na you have to cross multiply, dito hindi kasi angle rate ang hinahanap. So, the first thing you have to do using your calculator so as, again, is to divide 8 by 12. So, that's 8 divided by 12. You are going to get 2 thirds or 0 0.66. And after that, tangent, ang gagawin mo muna, shift, press shift, tangent, ang lalabas dyan sa calculator siya, tangent, raised to power negative 1. Then, equals, you are going to get 3 or 33.69 degrees. That is the measure of the angle of theta, which happens to be the measure of angle A. Okay? Now that we already have the measure of angle A, so brang basic na ng angle B. The measure of angle B, again, is just 90 degrees minus the measure of angle A, which is 33.69 degrees. Why? Because again, the total measure of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 minus the 90 degrees. So, 90 degrees na lang ang sum ng A and B. So, 90 minus 33.69 would be... Alright, the measure of angle B is 56.31. So, that's it. We already have the measure of the sides and the measure of all of the angles. So I'm going to give an activity again. I hope you would find time to answer this at home. So suppose you're given right triangle ABC with right angle at C and the angle take at angle B with sides 16 and 5. Please label the parts first for you to answer it easily. And again, continue to share uh, learning um, spread love and positivity. I hope you're all doing fine. Let us pray all together. Goodbye and God bless you.